Becca here with an eco craft tutorial for you. Today we're going to be making tawashi sponges. Okay, so you just need some really simple bits and bobs from your house for this tutorial. Some old socks, some pegs, some material scissors if you have them, and just an old egg box. So you're going to start by tearing off the top and the bottom of the egg box. Take the top and you're simply going to add your pegs like this. We're going to put four on the short side and five along the long side. Just like this. And then you're going to choose your socks that you're going to use. I've been donated some lovely colourful ones here, which is really nice. Um, you can choose two different colours if you want to mix them because we're going to make a weaved pattern. So what you're going to do with your socks is you'll need to chop off the uh, sort of top ankle band here because if it's too elasticated, it's not really going to work but you could use that for something else actually, it makes a really good hairband or maybe a tie in the garden. Then you're gonna take the main part of your sock and you're gonna cut strips. You want that strip to be a generous inch in width. If you do it too thin, you're gonna have gaps in your weave. So I'm gonna cut them like this. You might have to leave out the heel if they're really well-worn socks and they've got holes in them. Once you've got five pieces, you know you've got enough for one of the sides. So we need to do four more strips. And I'm gonna choose a colorful sock for this one. So now I have got four strips of one colour, five of another. I'm going to start adding my strips to my weaving device. So I'm going to start with the long side here. I'm going to take one of my strips and pop it on over opposite pegs. I'm going to do the same for all these. So we're ready to add the colourful strips now and we're just going to weave them under and over the black strips. So I'm going to take this one here, I'm going to hook it on to the first part of the peg there. I'm going to go over the first strip of sock and under the next, over and under, over and under and then hook it on on the end to this peg here. As you can see this is pulling my pegs together a little bit but this doesn't matter it's just because each sock has a different amount of elasticity. So we're going to keep going now with the rest of our strips over and under over and under. So here is one that I've prepared earlier. You can see the nice clear weaving pattern there. So the next stage is to take these loops off the pegs and thread them through each other so it becomes our sponge. Um, I've been told that this is exactly like casting off and knitting. So if you can do that, you've already got a head start. But I'm gonna show you how simple this is. So we're gonna take a corner, we'll start on a corner, any corner. I'm gonna take off the first loop and then the second loop. And you can take off the pegs as you do this as well. Tricky to do with one hand. As you take off the second peg, that loop goes through your first loop. And we just give it a little pull like that. 
and then we do exactly the same. The next loop you take off goes through the first one and we just continue like that. And then when you get to your last loop, we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to take the final peg off and put the final loop through. And then we're just going to double loop it as well. So I'm just going to put it through one more time so that when you are putting this through the washing machine, then it's not going to come apart. And that pulls nice and tight. Plus it's a really handy little loop just to hang it up in the kitchen or the bathroom, wherever you're going to use it. So your Tawashi sponge is a really good replacement for one of these plastic scourers that tend to shed microplastics down the drain. Um, your Tawashi sponge, however, can be just popped into the washing machine and used again and again. So happy eco-crafting folks and I hope you enjoy this one. <laughs>